to me, one of the unique aspects of the Heart Center here is that we have intensivists who are very involved in the ECMO program, both in the cannulation and in the management. So uh, I'm hoping maybe you can expand a little bit on our role in that uh, domain. Yeah, I'll probably um, give that to Dr. Commissar because he has a very special interest in mechanical circulatory support, but I think it's a really great part of our hospital and our heart center ICU that the intensivists are so intimately involved in both the procedure of uh, cannulating someone for ECMO and also the management, but I'll let you talk more about that. So to anybody who's listening who doesn't know what MCS, mechanical circulatory support, ECMO, is kind of artificially putting somebody on bypass temporarily, um, at least with the use of ECMO uh, to support either their heart or lungs or both, or the use of other devices to help support uh, parts of the heart independently. And uh, historically, it's been a cardiac surgical procedure. It involved usually cutting down on someone's groin, exposing the vessel, same thing with the neck, uh, to put very large cannulas. You can imagine IVs are the size of a pen tip. Cannulas for these things are the size of your thumb. And you can imagine that it was a surgical procedure. And, and over the years, since the advent of ultrasound and the ability to view things in real time, uh, along with a number of other safety measures, it meant that you don't necessarily need a cardiac surgeon in-house at all times to be able to do that for somebody. And so it's become something that intensivists um, have started doing here at the Mass General, other places as well. Um, and as we develop our program, more of us are doing it. And so as Kelly mentioned, I'm one of the people who uh, kind of um, cannulates, works on these. Um, and so through the advent of ultrasound, we've been able to gain vascular access uh, and in a more safe way, put these very large cannulas in to drain blood from the right side of the heart, drain blood from the body, and then return it to the left side of the heart to support the heart and or lungs, or take it out, oxygenate it, and put it back in um, both on the right side and let the heart kind of work as it's supposed to. Um, and so it's a really unique thing here to some degree because, again, historically it's been a cardiac surgery thing, but uh, with so many people here being interested and involved and we do so much of it, um, more of the intensivists are now kind of in that realm of, of both placing, but all of us you know, manage them on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and as uh, an ELSO center, we do a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really incredible life-saving technology, for sure.